Considered a classic of the Western genre, Jack Schaefer's novel Shane, 1949, marries a heroic sensibility with the nihilism and violence of the Old West, creating what could be viewed as a modern myth. The story is narrated by Bob Starrett, the young son of a Wyoming homesteader, who begins by informing the reader, he rode into our valley in the summer of 89. The man is dressed different than the locals, dressed all in black and comporting himself with calm assurance that feels deadly and dangerous. Bob is awed by the stranger when he stops at the Starrett house, introducing himself as Shane. Shane asks for a drink of water for himself and his horse and is impressed by the simple courtesy and respect shown to him by Joe Starrett, Bob's father. The two men instantly get along well, and Joe quickly invites Shane to stay. His wife, Marion, is less certain but treats Shane kindly nonetheless. Shane is popular with the family despite the sense of danger he brings. Joe implies that having Shane in their house offers protection because of his intimidating facade. Shane stays another night, helping Joe remove a stubborn stump from his property. Joe is impressed with Shane's work ethic, and the two men get along very well. Joe invites Shane to stay on to help him get the farm ready for winter, and Shane happily accepts. Shane becomes a familiar part of their daily routine. Bob begins to model himself after Shane, worshipping him. His mother, Marion, comes to trust Shane, and Joe likes him as a friend and appreciates the contribution he makes to the work around the farm. Fletcher, a wealthy man, reiterates his offer to buy the star at farm. Fletcher wishes to purchase all the farms near his own land so he can expand. Fletcher is becoming impatient, and his efforts to convince the farmers are edging towards violence. Shane encounters one of Fletcher's men, Chris, who attempts to prod him into a violent encounter with insults. Shane does not rise to the bait and goes back to the house. In town, the story spreads, and the townsfolk begin to mock Joe and Shane as cowards. The other farmers resisting Fletcher start to lose their courage. Shane decides something must be done, so one day, he goes to town and finds Chris, who quickly goads him into a fight in a local bar. Shane wins the fight easily, beating Chris badly. Joe is worried that Shane's actions will lead to retaliation from Fletcher. They continue to work the farm, but they are watchful. One weekend, the Starrets go to town as a family. While they visit with Bob's teacher, Shane waits in a bar, where he is attacked by a group of Fletcher's men. Shane is overwhelmed and almost badly injured, but Joe intervenes just in time, and together they fight off Fletcher's men, much to the pride of Bob. At home, Marion helps Shane with his injuries and begins to weep. Joe tells her he knows she has fallen in love with Shane, and he knows Shane is the better man. Marion goes to Shane and asks him to stay to help defend the farm from Fletcher, Shane agrees. Fletcher hires the gunslinger Stark Wilson. Shane and Joe determine that one of the farmers, Ernie Wright, will be the easiest to goad into a gunfight, and they race to his farm, but they are too late, Wright has been killed by Wilson. The next day, Fletcher offers to hire Joe and Shane, letting them remain on the farm. Joe initially refuses, but when Fletcher gives him the night to think on it, he wavers. Shane tries to talk him out of it, telling him he will go to talk to Fletcher. Joe tries to stop him, and Shane knocks him out with his gun. Bob follows Shane to town. Shane seeks out Wilson in the bar and challenges him. Shane is the faster shot and kills Wilson, but is shot himself. When Fletcher tries to shoot Shane from a hiding place on a balcony, Shane also shoots him dead. Shane prepares to leave. Bob rushes over and begs Shane to stay. Shane tells him that once you have killed a man, you are marked forever, he can't abide that, so he must leave. Shane rides away as Bob weeps. Bob runs home and tells his parents what has happened. Joe considers leaving the farm, but Marion tells him it is not an option. She tells him they are part of the land, that Shane made his sacrifice on their behalf, and they must honor it by staying. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.